What's up guys, welcome back to yet another video. So finally after a long wait, OnePlus have started rolling out ColorOS 12.1 for 8 series, which includes OnePlus 8, OnePlus 8 Pro and OnePlus 8T. So in this video, let's quickly take a look at what all new features OnePlus have added on OnePlus 8 series with the latest build of ColorOS 12.1. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we have our OnePlus 8, which is currently running on the latest build of ColorOS 12.1, which is based on Android 12. So if you go inside the version section, here you can see version is now C.21 for OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro it's C.21 for OnePlus 8T it's C.26 which comes with 5th April 2022 security patch. Let's also take a look at the benchmark results and CPU throttling test after this update. So here with Geekbench application my OnePlus 8 scored 905 and Multicore scored 2868. We also did not notice any kind of throttling issues while performing CPU throttling test where an average gifts were quite good and max CPU throttled up to 86%. And guys before moving ahead let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video. We still have 82% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel. So if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. First let me tell you how to install ColorOS 12.1 if you guys are interested. So what you have to do is if you are all already running Oxygen OS 12 on your device you won't be able to locally update to Color OS 12.1 so in that case either you have to downgrade your device to Oxygen OS 11 latest build or you guys need to be on Color OS 12 to receive an OTA update. My device was running Oxygen OS 11 so that made it a bit easy to install Color OS 12.1 directly using local update method. And guys, if you are installing ColorOS 12.1 or 12 for the first time, you'll see a lot many Chinese blotwares or you can say Chinese applications pre-installed. Some of them can be easily uninstalled by long pressing and few of them cannot be done. So in that case, you can watch the video which is being displayed on the screen. Using that video guide, you can remove all the Chinese applications from the ColorOS 12.1. Okay, now let's talk about the change logs. So it's a huge update and there are few additional features added on OnePlus 8 series now. With the first change log, OnePlus says they have optimized the AI self smoothing engine 2.1. And trust me guys, once you install ColorOS 12.1, you'll for sure notice a huge difference in the touch, response time and even in haptic feedback. I can seriously feel rich haptic feedback even while sliding the brightness slider. If you guys have already tried Oxygen OS 12 for OnePlus 8 series, I'll recommend you guys to try out Color OS 12.1 for once. The animations are way better compared to Oxygen OS 12. Smoothness and haptic is next level. After that, with the next change log, they have updated the gallery application, which brings a new card called Card Case. So this automatically organizes the photos of your ID, bank cards, tickets and receipts. Once you enable this, you'll find a different card case option here, as you can see here. And if you anytime want to disable it, just tap on these three dots, go to settings. And from here, you can disable the card case from the album. With ColorOS 12.1, now split screen windows got the support of enabling floating windows. So let's open up applications in split screen mode. And now if you want to open any application in floating windows, you just have to drag that app and drop it on the other split window. So this way you can open up floating windows directly from the split screen section. And also on previous updates of ColorOS, I always noticed that only one app used to support in floating windows. But now after this update of ColorOS 12.1, we have support of two applications. Third application doesn't support maximum. We can only use two applications in the floating windows. Later now, we also have the support of full page translation, which you can say screen translate. So initially this was not supporting entire page to translate, but now we have the support of the same. So if in case you have an application with a different language or if you are browsing any website that has a different language, what you can do is you just swipe the sidebar open screen translate feature and here you can see you have an option of full screen translate. Once you tap on it, this will start scanning the entire screen and translate the text. But right now there are only limited language options. After that, next changes are done related to multi-screen connect. So basically this is a feature which can help you connect your device to your PC to easily access all your files. But in my case, I was testing out this feature and the screen was stuck at loading. So I wasn't able to test out this feature. But here now OnePlus have added the support of three applications at the same time. So you can use three applications at the same time if you're using this feature. If you guys install ColorOS 12.1, then do let me know in the comment section below whether this feature works on your device or not. 
After that, clipboard privacy have been updated with ColorOS 12.1. So that can be found under privacy section. Here, if you scroll down here, now we have an option called clipboard access. So from here, you can allow or deny clipboard access to any of the applications which are present on your device. So it's a quite handy feature to protect your passwords and other important data. And now coming on to the last add-on, which most OnePlus users have been waiting for a long time and that's Hyperboost feature on OnePlus 8 series. So basically guys, Hyperboost technology is a system-based implementation. You don't have any specific settings to trigger this thing. This will automatically get enabled on supported games. So Hyperboost includes things like GPA frame stabilization for the best balance between performance and power consumption. So as you can see here, I've launched BGMI and towards the right top corner, it's clearly written Hyperboost. And on ColorOS 12.1, the gaming toolbox have also been completely redesigned. Directly from here itself, you can switch between the performance mode. Here we have the low one, balance and the pro gaming mode. And you can also check the ping and switch between the connections. We do get the option to monitor ping continuously from the gaming dashboard itself. Gaming dashboard have been updated on ColorOS 12.1, but as said, we still don't get the support of 90 fps in battlegrounds mobile india you can see lobby graphics are set to smooth and 90 fps but if we check we are only getting around 45 to 50 fps in the lobby itself and device gives constant 60 fps if the device is not warmed up or heated up right now my device temperature is bit high that's the reason i'm getting max 50 fps We'll do a detailed video in comparing Hyperboost feature on ColorOS 12.1 along with Oxygen OS 12. And we'll get a fair idea how useful is this feature on our OnePlus 8 series. So guys, these were all the changes what they have done with the latest update of ColorOS 12.1 for OnePlus 8 series. If you guys have any kind of questions, you can let me know in the comment section below or you can drop me a message on Instagram or Telegram. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys are gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. And also, if you're new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.